Since man landed on the moon, countless conspiracy theories have surfaced all over the web, some so virulent they spread like a virus, seeping into many areas of the media. Some of these theories, predictably, hold more water than others. Some claim we never went to the moon, this regardless of the proof that has continued to surface over the years. NASA claims to have lost the telemetry from the moon landings also. The motive behind this claim is unclear, yet no matter how unlikely, they continue to claim that it has been missing for decades. Conspiracy theorists often overlook the astonishing contributions which NASA has also made to modern society. Yet some theories actually claim a literal polar opposite of moon landing conspiracies. These not only agree that we did indeed land, walk, and even drive on the moon, but claim we have been back in secret and to explore a rather astonishing thing. According to numerous sources, the most compelling of said claims began on YouTube, with the release of some extraordinary CGI footage of a claimed moon landing and the exploration of a simply gigantic alien spacecraft. Due to the moon being so difficult to reach, and the fact that anything which either crashed, landed, or was possibly even abandoned on the moon, even billions of years ago, would have been preserved in an incredible condition. In April 2007, videos began appearing on YouTube under the username RetireDafB, telling the extraordinary story of a supposed Apollo 20, a secret lunar mission that had discovered the existence of intelligent alien life on the moon. Then, on May 23, 2007, Italian UFOologist Luca Scantaburlo managed to secure an interview with an individual who claimed to be the creator of the channel, a man by the name of William Rutledge, who later claimed to be, in fact, himself a retired secret American astronaut, who at the time was living in Rwanda. Rutledge claimed to be the commander of the Apollo 20 crew and to be the owner of the retired DAFB account. However, the interviewer never met Rutledge in person, as the interview was conducted over Yahoo Messenger. During the interview, however, Rutledge claimed that Apollo 20 was a top-secret mission, launched in mid-August 1976 from Vandenberg Air Force Base near Santa Barbara, California. He also claimed that it was conducted jointly by the United States and the former Soviet Union. He also alleged that other missions were made by American astronaut Leona Snyder, a now-established fictitious persona, and former Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, the first human to perform a spacewalk. The purported landing site of the mission was near Gaillot Crater, a feature near the much larger Del Porte Crater. Rutledge said the videos show that he and Leonov discovered the remains of an ancient lunar civilization. He also said they brought back artifacts to Earth for study, including a hibernating female humanoid. It is a story which we found highly compelling.